Hey guys, it's me, Broken SB09. Um, today I'm going to teach you how to make your own background. Um, so yeah, I, Buddy Love, requested this, or Buddy Love. Um, so yeah, to do this you're going to need Adobe Photoshop CS4 or 3 or any other ones that you have. Um, so just to give you a general preview of what it's going to look like, uh, it's going to a basic layout of kind of what you're going to have is kind of going to look like this. Um, so yeah, if you want to learn how to make the image, just go to this video right here. Link will be on the video right now. So uh, yeah. Okay, so let's get started. Um, you're going to start by downloading the link in the description. It's by Household Hacker, and I want to thank them for supplying this. Um, it has measurements and everything, so this is what you're going to work off of. Now, once you download this, you're just going to go to File and Open, and then find it wherever it's on your computer. Um, so this on the right side of the Layers section, you can delete some stuff. So the credits, you can delete. Um, the header, which is this right here, you really don't need, so I usually delete that. Um, measurements you want to keep, foreground you want to keep, partner banner, uh, if you're a partner, keep this, if you're not, uh, delete it. A uh, partner foreground, same with that, and you should be right here. So um, what you want to do is, once you're in this, you could keep it this color, or you could go into blending options, and you can use gradient overlay and hit gradient and there's a bunch of different colors you can adjust and everything uh, to make it whatever color so I like this black and silver and I move um, there's a bunch of different colors you can use so I usually put the black up a little to right there and hit OK and OK there's different uh, effects you can do just play around with that then go to your foreground, select it, and go to blending options. Uh, gradient overlay, and you can match it up with the color that you just had, which I'm going to try to do. Um, you can use a different color if you guys want. So, uh, yeah, and if you don't want to do that, if you want this layer, see kind of how it has this uh, background. If you don't want that, just delete the foreground, um, which I do. So. Uh, this is the measurements and you want to keep this in there. So the next thing you're going to do is add your text. So use the text tool. It's loading here. Um, it always takes a second when you want to use the text. Okay. So, um, see how I don't want it like long ways. So hold that and I'm going to go vertical text tool. And the header is right here, this right there, so you want it to be around there. And I want the font size to be around, let's say, 40. Let's try that. Um, remember, this is kind of a small scale. When it's on your page, it's going to be a little smaller, so make sure to make everything a little smaller. So. 70 points should work just fine. Um, I'm using the font Bad Mofo, which you can get free fonts at Acid Fonts, um, AcidFonts.com. I go to the 3D layers and they have a bunch. You just click it and download it. It's safe and everything, so don't you don't have to worry about that. Um, so yeah, let me go back to this here. So get your fonts to get it. You just um, yeah, so once you get it, type in what you want it to say over here. Um, actually, that's a little big, so I'm going to go 55 point. So you kind of want to get it close to that, and uh, so it's like that. Then you can um, go back here and then make a new one. I'm going to say new video. And remember, you can say whatever you want to say on these sides, so very customizable. I'll put that one at a 40 point. Um, it could be a little small, but it doesn't matter. And you can say whatever you want on there. So um, to do the pictures, uh, what you're going to do is 
go to file open and uh, get a picture that you want to have on the screen uh, this is kinda stupid I don't know why I'm using this but it seems good so what you're gonna do is go up here to the magic selection tool and it's gonna select this uh, just click it now if it's like a black background or you know a different color because mine came transparent uh, if it's black you just uh, double click hit delete and it will say uh, it will go to a white screen Then you're gonna double click this layer and rename it and then hit delete again and it should go transparent so what you do is let me get this out onto here and what you gotta do is once it's selected make sure to go here and drag this onto the uh, background um, so now that you have this you can move it around put it where you want but it's a little too big so you hit command T and that should be able to resize it so you can resize it to whatever you want and uh, I think that's good I'll hit enter it's gonna apply the changes and you can put it wherever you want it like down there or up here um, same with the mp5 on my one that's what I did so that's what I added there you could go to your um, if you want to add some stuff you go to your brushes tool and you could add some cool uh, stuff uh, like a warning I got a bunch of these at brushyzy.com um, which you can check out and upload uh, so there's different like textures that you can add if you want to make it look cool and stuff but um, yeah you can mess around with it to make it what you like and uh, you know I'm just playing around with this right now of course this isn't want to be my background but uh, yeah that's basically how to make your own background to save it you should go to file save as JPEG and uh, I'll show you here if you want to know I'll put it as uh, say BSB BG and the format should be JPEG hit save and then uh, see where it says 404 um, grant I don't know what the key is <laughs> um, so what you do is uh, you want this size file size to be less than 250 I think so you may have to use the slider uh, 233 so there you go you hit OK save it and then go back to your YouTube channel and let this load I got a bunch of programs open that's why probably a little slow and uh, well, it's not going to open, but um, you just hit upload image and uh, that image should upload. So um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe.